dollars away I will watch you blind and rhythm as you spin to the stars It's high, you're where you are Listen butterfly, got a picture to see Painted on your back, dramatic catastrophe Wispy swirling, spinning, spotty hooks into me You're high, you're my love's dream You're a mix match, what's that calling out to me? Never thought in my whole life that I would get to see Such a beautiful mess, all my favorite things you make me drop a man played by Harvey Keitel who decides uh, one day that he's going to uh, get some money by uh, making his kids guinea pigs in a science experiment. So he gives them lethal drugs and then they find out that they're going to die very soon after that. So they go on a, a bender, a bucket list for the last couple days. And when they offered me this film, I said yes because I'm a working actor and I need the money. So I took it with, uh, out reading the script because they offered me money. And uh, when you get offered uh, money in a business, you, you, you just you pretty much just say yes. Not familiar with his body of work, so I thought maybe I should check it out. I don't really support his work. It's extensive. So I don't usually support his work, so I thought maybe tonight I would make myself. She thought finally <laughs> she would come out and see something that I've done. Couldn't find your couple name. Do you guys have one? Uh, oh. Well, we're going to coin it right now. Okay. Jamantha. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's really good. I think that's yeah. going to work. I think that's going to I think that's going to catch on. Jamantha Bones. <laughs> Jamantha Bones, I love it. I'm going to cry a little yeah, sure. just a little tear of blood is going to tickle down my cheek. <laughs> Sam often is caught crying over wieners and uh, she is very sad at the situation. I find it hilarious. Jonathan's script is uh, very smart, very funny, very witty. Uh, he has a lot of talent. Dead Art is about emerging talent. Was there ever a time in your career where you thought you'd give up and you'd throw in the towel, and what got you through it? Anyone who tells you they didn't at some point think of throwing in the towel is you know what? Perseverance. You continue on in your action no matter what no matter how difficult it gets. Well, I wanted to make a beginner's guide to endings because um, I've been a writer for a long time and I really wanted to start directing. So finding a script where I could jam all the scenes and bits and pieces of other projects that I always wanted to put into a script but never had an opportunity to, to put into one you know, really jam-packed script, uh, was just too good of an opportunity to pass up. And being able to direct uh, your own work is, is, is really exciting. I'd also add, uh, I don't know a single screenwriter who deep down doesn't want to direct their own work. Getting the cast for A Beginner's Guide to Endings was a really lucky uh, set of circumstances. We went in through the front door, we sent in the script, and, and, and luckily all, all the people who, who, who read it responded to it and uh, agreed to come aboard and uh, come up to Canada in November. And I, I gotta tell you, that's, 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 that's love or, or poor, poor judgment on their part. So Harvey was uh, 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 one of the very first offers that we made uh, for this film. Um, working with somebody of, of his stature is uh, uh, such a wonderful experience and, and was as valuable uh, uh, for the film and, and for me. And it was uh, terrifying, I'm not going to lie, at first to uh, walk on set the first time with them. Being at a theater kind of of this magnitude and with this history, it's kind of like a grand old movie palace. It's just really exciting. Jonathan Gould is a gold prospector in Alaska. He's this kind of Alaskan madman with a big beard hunting for gold, specifically where the glaciers are melting and receding in Alaska. Um, so he's a kind of global warming profiteer of interest to us, partly because he's doing something kind of crazy, partly because he's just an interesting man with um, a, a really interesting story. Through the Alaskan wilderness, climbing over glaciers and rappelling down cliffs. It's about a dying young man who starts to lose his mind and uh, starts to make up his own language and alienate all of his friends as they're starting to leave him. And uh, it's kind of one last plea to not be alone. And uh, it's fun, it's crazy, it's wild. Come check it out. It's really about meeting, that, meeting someone that makes you a little uncomfortable. They've just got so many traits and qualities and you're not used to them. And it's, uh, it's an ode to that person in your life. And I finished it like three days before I submitted it for Gen Art, and they called me two days later. And uh, I'm really excited to be here. All right, so, okay. Uh, okay, okay.
I'm interested particularly because Scott Kane is in it. I've been coming since the first year, which was a long time ago, in a basement cinema on 57th Street, which is now a supermarket. I always enjoy gen art because you see films that are uh, films that you haven't really had an opportunity to see yet anywhere else. And it's a very interesting and eclectic grab bag. When I was a freshman at NYU and I came inside, I don't know, it was either an interview with a vampire or something, and people went nuts here. It's such a unique theater. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Clearview Cinemas for, for keeping this theater alive, right? Well, you can tell this is the first film where you even screwed up the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm here tonight. Most of my friends know there's a first film, first time writer, director, I'm probably in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and Jonathan, I, I, I believe, is a reason I'm in the movie, because he's a beautiful new talent. He wrote it and directed it. And, uh, this guy's very good also. <laughs> so enjoy the movie. Thanks for coming. Yeah. 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 Jones is like Canada's Paul Rudd, which would make him like America's <laughs> like Don Eloise, I guess. I read a lot of scripts and they're all mostly bad, and uh, this was not bad. I would have for that. So much fun. Thank you. Born in Niagara Falls, New York, and it was really a great tribute. There was a sensitivity about the water and the uh, the falls, and really quite remarkable. The falls are very magical, and so I enjoyed it from that point of view too. I, I, I was uh, it was very funny, and you know, it had like I asked my question. It had great music. It's like it was like the music just. Oh, you're was, the one that asked that yes. question. Yes. Uh, really funny, and um, I love Harvey Keitel. I thought it was a great first effort from a director who had done his first film, and he got a great cast and you know, a great chemistry, and amazing that he got all the performances and the stunt work and everything. I thought it was a nice mix of like fun and poppy, but also really um, thoughtful. It was a very surprising ending and sweet and uplifting. It was sweet. It was very funny and unexpected and short and nice and had a bit of a story to it and substance, so it was all married together nicely. It was priceless. It was, it was, yeah, it was funny. It was great. Very sweet. Thinking on this ship when it's going down. My name is davidjr.com.